Please welcome Ifran Saif, Principal and Cyber Ventures Leader at Deloitte. Hello everyone, thank you very much and good afternoon. Um, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about some of the business trends that are impacting cyber uh, and what I think we need to really start thinking about doing in order to build a capability that's going to add real business value uh, and talk about it in the context of change that's happening in the marketplace. There's a saying actually that goes that something to the effect of market share is won and lost in times of change. And I think that there's a perfect confluence of things happening uh, that really provides a good opportunity for us as cyber professionals. At, at the broadest level, we've got what the World Economic Forum is calling the fourth industrial revolution. And if you look from left to right, you can see from steam to electricity or the electric revolution to the digital revolution, and now to what they're calling hyperconnected and intelligent. And you've heard some of those words already in different ways, shapes, and forms. Effectively, what we're talking about here is a world where you've got devices and sen sensors that are connected all over the place, and you've also got this notion of intelligence. You use whichever term you like, uh, but effectively, how can you drive analytics, machine-based responses, uh, and an ability to handle the kind of velocity uh, and scale that you're talking about with billions and billions of connected devices? The other thing to note is each of these different eras have caused huge disruption both socially as well as economically. And you'll notice that the time between these eras has shrunk considerably. And so if, if past performance is an indicator of things to happen in the future, uh, one would surmise that we need to be ready quickly because the scale uh, and the impact potential of the hyper-connected and intelligent era is going to be significant. In addition, you've got moves happening in the cyber landscape. And so cyber for a long time has been very focused on sort of the compliance-based view of things. I'll do a compliance uh, with some standard or policy, and you'll be fine. We realized that clearly was inadequate, and there came an era of sort of risk-based approach to cyber. And that's kind of the era that we're in today. But that in and of itself isn't going to be enough. And so while over the last 10 years, cyber risk has entered uh, the minds of you know, everyone, not just professionals, but it's sort of in the public conscience it's been picked up by the media. It's clearly a boardroom issue. It's a government issue. I think that there's more now that's going to be expected. And we're starting to hear it from executives. We're starting to see it from board members. Uh, and it's something that's coming. And that's sort of this era of maturity and ubiquity. And ubiquity ties pretty nicely to this notion of hyperconnectedness. Cyber risk is kind of everywhere. It's pervasive. But maturity is really about an expectation. And it's an expectation that there is going to be more discipline and rigor in the way that cyber risk is managed for the enterprise. And that means the way that spending occurs, that means justifications and alignment to outcome. And that, I think, is a critical step. Now, what are some of the challenges as we start to think about this change? Well, one of them is clearly you've got this exponentially larger attack surface. And how do you manage that? At the same time, enterprises are struggling to keep up with the attack surface they have today. Whether it's identity, whether it's threat and vulnerability management, it is a challenge, and many of you out there are living this every day. In addition, the resource scarcity is not, to scale, going to get that much better anytime soon. So we need to rethink the way that we're approaching the problem. And so there's an urgency for change, for sure, and I think to some of the other speakers' points, there are changes coming, and we need to be ready for those changes. There's one other shift that's worth talking about, which is this idea that we're moving from a heavily information technology-oriented world to one where operational technology is far more relevant and critical. And there's a couple of challenges here. One of them is in many OT environments, you've got really legacy systems, very niche platforms, um, old, perhaps older ways of doing things. And in addition, some of the executives driving the broad change, not the ones necessarily owning OT, but the ones driving transformation, are not ones that are well-versed in the ideas of cyber. And I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. So what do you think about? Well, in eight minutes, we can't really talk about too many of these areas, but there's a couple that I'd like to tease out. The first one is this notion of automation, robotics, and analytics. Now, this isn't screen scraping or something as trivial as that. But it's the idea that as you have the proliferation of hundreds of millions, billions of connected devices, 
mobile platforms and so on, you're going to have to do something more to handle the vastness of that space, to understand what's happening, to be able to manage the risk across that whole landscape. And one of the ways in which you're going to have to be able to do that is to drive more sophisticated analytics. Now, there's two key points I'd like to raise here. One of them is that you can actually use these platforms, these connected devices that are intelligent, they have processing capability, they generate data, they can rec receive instructions, and they can act on data that they see. Leveraging them as part of your defense network, leveraging them as a platform that allows you to manage cyber risk across the enterprise is going to be of critical importance. They have the ability, potentially, to deal with things in real time in a way that humans cannot. And we're going to have to make more investments in relying on those kinds of capabilities. The other one is that then frees up the limited human resources we do have to tackle the more amorphous problems, to do the triage, to do some of the things that, quite frankly, machines aren't well suited to doing. Now, digital identity is one of those things that, you know, some of you may debate this, but I would contend that it's been a challenge for a long time. And there's many enterprises that still probably don't have it right. Now, add to that the fact that you've got now an, an order of magnitude more devices that have to be managed. You've got machine identities that have to be managed in addition to humans. That makes the problem that people have already struggled with that much harder. And with the broader enterprise within which this has to happen, there are some real risks here. And I think this is another area um, where investments and focus need to be made. And then lastly, there is this idea of rethinking the approach. I mentioned earlier there's new stakeholders involved. When you think about what's driving large-scale business transformation in the marketplace, there are billions of dollars being spent by large enterprises on transforming everything from the user experience to their entire technology infrastructure to the way that they think about managing their overall business. In that kind of a landscape with executives like chief marketing officers, these are not executives that have spent a lot of time thinking about cyber risk. And in fact, the vocabulary that they might use and the lens by which they may think about business and risk and trade-offs mean that we have to align cyber risk in a different way and we have to think more about different outcomes because that's going to be a critical part of how we manage in the future. So look, at the end of the day, I think we're at the start of a very, very interesting era. This is an era that's upon us. It's not there at scale yet. But I think for all of us, there is a tremendous opportunity to invest in ideas and solutions that will elevate the brand of cyber executives and allow cyber to be a critical part of business transformation. And I think that's, that's something that, from a rethinking cyber perspective, is something worth spending time on. Thank you very much.